History is being made this week in the Arizona desert. It's a simple idea that can create electricity and save water at the same time. Brad Hicks shows you how the pioneers are drawing on the past for inspiration. With the flip of a switch, a new source started sending power to the grid. This stretch of solar panels south of Phoenix may not seem special, but what's under this canopy could impact how Western communities adapt to warming temperatures and drier weather. We're meeting the moment here. The innovators are indigenous, the Gila River Indian community. They've built this canopy of solar panels over an irrigation canal. This has never been done in North America before, never been done in the Western Hemisphere. So this could be a new paradigm for irrigation in the Western United States. The panels produce power, but equally important, they prevent evaporation, a huge problem here in the desert. The shade they create could also keep algae from growing in the canal, cutting maintenance costs, and the cooling effect of the water under the panels should make them more efficient. For the world to see that a tribal nation can do this, we're at the forefront of this. We're, we're at the cutting edge, you know, of finding ways uh, to address climate change. Right now, just over a half mile of this canal is covered. But when the 16 mile long canal is complete, it could supply half the energy needs of the entire community and save enormous amounts of water for irrigation. Community's vision is to establish the first and only in the world completely carbon neutral irrigation district, meaning that whatever its power demand is, we will generate through renewable energy. The indigenous people here are considered one of the most successful canal building cultures in human history, dating back 2000 years. By harnessing solar to save water, they are taking their canal building heritage to new heights. And this links so beautifully to our traditions. If this moment becomes a movement, we're gonna look back and just to see that this is a historic time in how we address and adapt to our changing environment. In the Gila River Indian community, Brad Hicks reporting.